a very scary moment happened when Vladimir Putin uh, spoke pub publicly and threatened nuclear actions. We're going to take a look at the CNN report uh, and then discuss. The most significant Russian escalation since the invasion of Ukraine. Vladimir Putin mobilizes new forces. I'm John Berman with Erica Hill today, and it all comes with ominous new nuclear language. Just a short time ago, in a rare and highly anticipated address, Putin announced a partial mobilization in Russia, which is set to begin today. 300,000 additional troops will be called up to fight. This comes as Russia has suffered humiliating losses to Ukraine, with Russian troops retreating from occupied territory. In the speech overnight, which was riddled with false claims, Putin used his most direct language to date regarding the possible use of nuclear weapons. This is not a bluff. The citizens of Russia can be sure that the territorial integrity of our homeland, our independence and freedom will be ensured. And those who try to blackmail us with nuclear weapons should know that the prevailing winds can turn in their direction. Putin's comments come against the backdrop of the U.N. General Assembly here in New York. So we've seen over the last few weeks um, a huge shift in the Ukraine military's direction as far as who is making the most advances. And they're able to start taking back um, cities that had been previously taken over by uh, the Russian troops. And so there was some hope there. And it seems like Putin is picking up on that um, and is saying he's not bluffing. He will use nuclear weapons. And that's very scary. And that has been speculated as to why some of the troops are backing off is because they may be expecting nuclear strikes to start happening. Um, now, to be specific, the nuclear, uh, they call them tactical nukes, are a smaller scale than what we picture a new, you know, um, kind of at least what comes to my head when I hear that, but it would still be devastating if these started getting, uh, used. And it seems like as the war starts going worse and worse for Vladimir Putin, he's going to be getting more and more erratic, more and more, uh, off of his rocker and willing to try some horribly dangerous things. Um, and that is what I'm, very fearful about. And so hopefully this big surge of troops does not uh, yield good results for the Russian military. Hopefully he is bluffing, even though he's saying that he's not. But Ukraine and allies need to prepare for the possibility of this escalating uh, significantly to now a nuclear related uh, conflict. Um, and that's not good. That is scary. Obviously, the casualties and uh, civilians that will be lost if that starts happening is devastating to think about. Um, and so, again, hopefully Putin's bluffing. He's saying that he's not. Uh, but I do think he's 100 percent getting more angry, more unstable. And we're likely going to see the effects of that. But hopefully Ukraine uh, keeps standing strong and keeps making progress in this war.